Okay, back to the Tessup and the tower. Never buy Tessup. So here we go. There's the tower. And I'll zoom in on all these parts to show everybody what I've done so far to get this thing going. I still don't think it's going to hold, believe it or not. So, not that you can see, but those pipes look like they got a slight bend in them right here. That is welded in solid. I have triangles welded down below so they couldn't pull from the base. Got pieces going out like a channel out on a piece of stock. That's the weak point right there. This little bad boy right here is the weak point. This piece coming out is half inch steel and it's just flexing right off the ground as you can see it. I even put two little ground anchors and a piece of flat stock across there to see what kind of lift I'm getting. It actually lifted in those uh, pulled on those pretty tight they're, they're stiff so <clears throat> we've got inch and a quarter stainless steel rod here inch and a quarter 40 gauge i should have went 80 <laughs> i didn't uh i thought that would be strong enough believe it or not two of those welded uh like i said the weak point from the lifting with the stressor i have this going up to this pulley here so what you can see here is the 1500 pound crank up to the stainless steel pulley here i'll walk you out to the end so the first cable comes out here 6500 pound uh clevis and then we've got this is up to 800 pounds this whole rig is only 600 pounds dry weight quarter inch cable 6500 pound load ability comes out here goes back into the middle pulley in the section then comes back out here to the second pulley and then goes back in finally to the tie down point originally i was only going to go with the two and go with the tie down point out on the rig but uh i went back and just said you know what give it another length of pulley to give it a little more leverage and that's what we have so Pulley system works fine, as it should. The whole pole is pulling forward. As you can see, I definitely see a bend in that. And uh, that's the scary part. So, maybe solid bar. I mean, it's going to go freaking even more. It's solid bar steel is expensive. So, right now, I can still hand crank this thing and just bring it up. I was just sort of waiting to see what part of this thing would give. But, uh, you know, I'm noticing a, not a bend in there. In a lower, in this lower section, there's no bend here, none here. But as soon as I get here, now I'm starting to see a slight curvature of that pipe. So, uh, suggestions, man. Um, I may counter this whole thing by putting a choker cable around the concrete block. I'm just going to dig down. Put a choker cable around there about a foot maybe two feet down and then clamp it off to the center right in here i'll clamp it and then i'll have the whip come from underneath the ground up on an angle and go around the bottom of that pipe so they can't pull up from the ground once that's there <clears throat> the weakest point will be this section here it's got pretty much all the torque load on it right now because this is countered with all this and that's apparently holding and that's holding there so this section might be the failure point somewhere within here so suggestions somebody out there who does building or welding and material wise just tell me uh, what size they think i should have went with all right inch and a quarter schedule 40 is what that is i should have went with schedule 80 they had it there uh it was a dumbass move but anyway it is what it is, and we're trying to get this tower to come up. All right, we'll talk to you later.